Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel you find lots of cleaning motivation, lifestyle videos, mobile home updates, and Bible journaling videos. Today's video is going to be another clean with me. I am tackling quite a few spaces in my home today. I need to take all my bedding off my bed and get that washed and clean up the kitchen. I also need to clean up my son's room, so I'm gonna be tackling all that today. I hope that today's video will give you guys lots of cleaning motivation and you will clean along with me. So about once a week, I like to take the sheets off of our bed and just give them a good wash. Sometimes I put the same sheets back on after I've washed them. Sometimes I changed them from previous videos. You guys know we've had these blue sheets on before and then I switched them to red and now they're back to blue because these blue ones are kind of flannel feeling. So they're a little bit warmer for the cold months. So we are using these ones right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get these ones washed. I'm also very excited to share these pillows with you guys. We recently got some new pillows and my husband is a back sleeper and stomach sleeper and I am a side and stomach sleeper. So we both need a different kind of pillow, but these pillows ended up working for both of us very well. They feel like literally a cloud on your head. So I am excited to share these with you a little bit later in the video. They are really awesome and I definitely recommend if you are in the market for a new pillow. But I'm going to go ahead and get the bedding started in the washer and while that is washing I'm going to go ahead and clean up the kitchen area. It is quite early in the morning as most of you moms might know you kind of have to get your cleaning in whenever you can. So my husband went to work at about 5.30 this morning and I just started tackling the house while my kids were still sleeping. That way it was nice and clean when they got up and I could just work with a clean space for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kitchen tackled before we start breakfast.
And you guys know it is a staple around here that I start my diffuser whenever I am cleaning the kitchen or am done cleaning the kitchen. Today's blend is going to be lemon, clove, and cinnamon. And this combination together just smells so good and refreshing, but yet still gives it that holiday scent. So that's what I'm putting in my diffuser today. And every so often I like to wipe down my essential oil bottles before I put them back on the shelf. I get lots of questions about what essential oils I use and I use Revive and so there's always a link in my bio down below where you can get $10 off your purchase of 50 or more. It is not affiliate link, it is just a code that I have for you guys. So if you're ever interested you can go ahead and click down there and it'll take you right to the website. But now that the washer is done washing, I'm going to go ahead and take what was out of the dryer that was drying last night and then put the bedding into the dryer so that way that can dry and then I'm going to tackle some more spaces. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. No, I don't care about the heart. We recently got a grocery order and so I wanted to go ahead and clean our strawberries and our blueberries. I like to make sure these soak a little bit before I feed them to my kids just to make sure there is nothing on them. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in a bowl, run some water over it, and then I'm going to use my fruit and veggie spray. I just got this from Walmart and it works really well and it is safe for consumption if you do happen to consume any of it but so far it's a really good fruit and veggie wash so if you're looking for something that is very reasonable I think it was four dollars for this bottle and it has lasted me months so I just use that to clean them I let them soak for probably about 20 minutes to a half hour and then I give them a good rinse so I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these dishes away wipe down the counter and then I will get to cleaning those fruits and veggies Once the fruit has soaked, I go ahead and give it a good rinse and then I put it in this fruit safe container. I just put a piece of paper towel at the bottom of it so that way it soaks up any excess moisture. Put the fruits in there and then I put a piece of paper towel on the top. I don't remember where I saw this hack but somebody on YouTube had shared this hack 
and if I can remember for the life of me who did it, I'll link them below, but I at this moment cannot remember, but it is literally a lifesaver. I just switch out the paper towel once a day or once every other day depending on how damp it is, but it really just sucks out that excess moisture that would make the fruits or vegetables go bad. So I just put that in there and it really keeps them fresh for at least a week to a week and a half. Now that the bedding is done in the dryer, I'm going to go ahead and remove that and get to making my bed. It feels so good to have a nice clean bed and fresh sheets. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that is everybody's favorite thing is just nice, fresh, clean sheets and a clean blanket, especially when you crawl in bed that night. I definitely wanted to crawl in bed after I made it, but I did not have the time to do that today. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed and then share these pillows with you guys. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. And I just want to mention I am struggling to move this mattress around but I wanted to spin the mattress so where our heads were will now be where our feet are. Sometimes it is just nice to flip your mattress around so that way the normal spot that you lay in it's not just one spot that just conforms to your body like the weight of your bodies can distribute so we swap ours around every once in a while just to evenly distribute the wear on the mattress since it is a pillow top so that's what I'm doing here Okay, so I do want to put a disclaimer out there. If you guys hear my kids in the background, they are playing while I make the bed. But I wanted to show you guys these pillows. I have two of them, and they are two queen-size pillows. They were sent to me by LifeWit, and we have been sleeping with these pillows for a couple weeks now. And of course, I'm not going to share anything with you guys that I don't like. Um, but these pillows are absolutely amazing. They're O-E-K-O -E tested and certified so they are great for sleeping they are machine washable you can fluff them up just like new and they're just so comfortable they have like a gel fiber on the inside and they are so cool at night they form right to your head they are fluffy so if you are a side sleeper like me or a back sleeper they are perfect for either person they are just absolutely wonderful pillows and like I said, LifeWit sent these to me and they are just so wonderful. I was so over buying like $15, $16 pillows and just not having them work at all and getting rid of them. But these are machine washable safe so you can wash them and dry them and they are just absolutely wonderful. They are so comfortable. I've been sleeping through the night. I haven't had any neck kinks or anything. So if you guys are interested in a LifeWit pillow, Definitely check the description box down below because I will have a link for them. But these are some really awesome pillows and they are affordable if you are in the market. And thank you, LifeWit, for sending me these pillows.
now that my bed is made, I'm going to go ahead and move on into my son's room. My son and daughter do like to play in here from time to time, and there are some toys on the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and get all of this cleaned up, make his bed a little bit, and just get it looking new in here. I needed to vacuum because there were some things on the floor, and then he got a new laundry basket as well. He didn't currently have a laundry basket in here. And however they are little, I do like them to have a laundry basket in their room. My daughter has one and it's just so convenient that whenever I get them new clothes, I can just put their old clothes right in the laundry basket and when laundry day comes around, I can just grab them out and do the laundry. So I am going to get this cleaned up, vacuum, and get his laundry basket put in here. I did want to mention that LifeWit did send me this laundry basket as well to review for you guys. I had just opened it so that is why it is a little crinkled over time. Those wrinkles and crinkles will come out of it but it is a nice feeling laundry basket and I will definitely let you know in months to come how it holds up but it is lined with a fabric on the inside that is waterproof so if you put any clothes that have any spills or anything on there it's not going to stain the laundry basket and what's really nice about it is it will hold its form because of the material that it is and around the top and around the bottom you can tell there is a wire in there that helps hold the top open and then keep the bottom open as well and just keep its form so so far i'm really liking it i absolutely love when i get in here and clean his room because afterwards it is just so cute except for that big pile of toys over there if you guys have any suggestions of a good toy box or toy storage system i'm still struggling to figure out what i want to do please let me know in the comments below but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and i'll catch you in the next one bye y'all